What's up, everybody? Mark Live here with Think Computers. Today we're going to talk about League of Legends, a MOBA game that was developed by Riot Games. MOBA stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. I'm already super excited. I've been playing this game for about the last couple of weeks. I'm very, very uh, addicted, as you could say, to it. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, dive into the game and uh, get started. I'll teach you all about it and show you all the things that this game uh, offers. It's also a uh, free-to-play, so that's a great thing. Don't have to spend money to play this game. Let's go ahead and start playing. All right, so let's jump into League of Legends. Here we have the dashboard. Um, what's great about it is a desktop application. It's not a full screen application, so you can still do other things. It doesn't take as much resources as a normal, I guess, full game would. Um, the only full game about it is the actual game itself. So you could do everything pretty much except play the game inside the dashboard on your desktop, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and jump into the uh, profile settings. Um, basically, you have it just tells you pretty much what you want to see. You know, your wins doesn't tell you your loss ratios. The only uh, win-loss ratio is when after you've played a game it tells you your record. You know how many monsters and minions you've killed, how many takedowns. Ranked. Ranked starts at level 30. As you can see I'm only level 21. I'm, uh, leveling isn't that bad. It is a free-to-play game so it's a little bit slower than I guess a normal game but you are you can purchase XP boosts as well too. Um, basically in your profile you have your profile, you have ranked stats which I can't see yet until I'm level 30. Um, your match history, which you could tell shows you all your settings, what build you had. Um, you can see all these builds and what they do for you on LeagueOfLegends.com or PvP.net. Um, the champions, basically all the ones in black and white are the ones that you do not own. And then all the ones that are in color, of course, are the ones that you do own. Um, they do give you 10 a week, 10 free characters to play every week. Um, those are indicated with the icon in the upper left. Uh, this week they had 11 characters because there were some tweaks that they had to make to one of the characters. Um, and then also your rune pages. These are basically your boosts. As you can see, um, my stacks of uh, my statistics over here, uh, depending on what I have stacked, it just adds whatever. So each rune, like this one for example, gives 0.32 magic, pen ah, magic penetration. And, all the, and then as you can see, all the runes of, of Magic Penetration stack, so it just shows you your total here. And then you can create different pages as well. Here I just have a full crit damage rune page for my um, champions that I like to, that I need crit for. And then here's for basically my Magic champions that I like to use. Alright, here we have our Masteries pages. These are basically your skill sets that you can always change. There's, um, there's no, they don't stay. You can always return your points and then add them wherever you wish. Um, usually, basically, they're just skills. You know, they give you either an extra skill or boost to your other skills. So that's pretty much it. They're usually changed on per champion. So whatever champion you're playing, make sure that you uh, have your masteries and your runes set to the proper ones. They give you the definitely extra boost that you need. And then also your spells. You're given uh, quite a few spells to start, and then once you level up past level 12, level 12, you get your last spell, Flash, which is pretty much the popular spell. Um, but the, pretty much what they are is spells. Um, like for example, flash teleports your champion to your curse's location, you know, and then you have cleanse, removes all stuns, those taunts, and whatnot. So they all have different abilities of each one. Um, just basically go through it and see which ones you like. Uh, check out um, what other you know professional League of Legend players use most of the time. It all depends on the champion that you're using as well too. So. Here we have the uh, champion select screen. Here you get to choose from the tons of different champions. They all have their perks, they all have their negatives, they all have different prices, they all have great, great uh, to advantages and disadvantages. It's all the preference, all it is is user preference. They all have their own taunts, their own skills, no skills are alike. Um, basically you choose, basically the rule of thumb is you know you get good at four to six different champions and you'll be pretty much OP like that. Um, you can If you can master them all then phew, let me get your autograph that'd be great but there's a lot of skill taken to master every, every single one of them so and as you can see there's two different like prices one is the riot points and then one is the uh, in-game currency the IP points. Um, basically you could do either way uh, for example Morgana here she costs either 13 uh, 150 IP points or just 585 RP points. Um, so the in-game points, 1350, is really not that hard to get. Um, to get that many, it probably is a couple games or two. Not that many. Um, Morgana is a really OP character in the game. Um, 
I enjoy her. A lot of other people enjoy her. Some people hate her because she's so OP and they QQ all day long. But um, she's super, you know, she's super inexpensive in the game compared to, let's say, a Blitzcrank here who's either 975 RP or 6300 IP. There's really no difference on just because this one's more expensive doesn't mean he's the best guy in the game or anything. Um, 6300 is the max uh, IP for a lot of the characters. You can also sort as well too for the lower ones, and then you can also sort to the higher ranked ones or the sorry the higher IP ones. Like I said, they're not. There's really it's all user preference. Uh, their skills are different. Some are tanks, some are healers, some are DPS, you know, some are stealth, assassins, and whatnot. So it all depends. There's no, the prices is just, it all depends. Like if you want to play Lee Sin, then yeah, it sucks. You got to save up 6,300 points. But, you know, you find somebody that's lower in points that you can afford right now, and you just level him up and be a pro at him before you get all those points to, uh, to finally get Lee Sin, and then you master him as well. So just all user preference they all got their skills if you go inside of each one you get to see basically their health attack spells and difficulty and then you get to also see the abilities that they do you just click on each one and they tell you exactly what they do and tips it tells you how to play them and then how to play against them and the story behind the character and also skins skins are like I said the cool things in the game because this is what he looks like in the game on this skin you purchase this skin he looks like that and so forth so and you can purchase skins on the next page. Um, skins are only purchased through RP points, so you do have to purchase uh, RP, which uh, stands for Riot Points, to unlock different skins. For example, Bran, this is the apocalyptic skin. His normal skin is this. And then you can purchase other skins as well, too. Um, and then runes. Runes are your, I guess, perks for the game. They give you extra whatever you need. Armor, health, magic, magic penetration, ability power, attack damage. Whatever you need a rune for, um, you purchase it through IP. You can't purchase it through RP. IP is the in-game currency, like I said. I mean, these runes are the greater runes, so, you know, to get, let's say, 410 IP could be one match. I mean, that you gotta... To get IP is determined on your kill and death ratio, turrets, how many minions you've killed, and so forth. Just the overall um, completion of what you've done in the game. Each match lasts about 20 minutes to about 45 minutes. I've been in a match that's lasted about an hour and 15 minutes. So it all depends. But the average time I'm going to say is about 30 to 45 minutes per match. Um, you could purchase, once you purchase RP points, you could purchase boosts, IP boosts, and XP boosts. The only two boosts that you can get. Um, I, like I said, IP boost is to purchase uh, champions or runes, which you do need in the game. And then XP boost level you up until you finally get to uh, level 30. Um, after that, you don't. It's you really don't want to buy an XP boost because it's just a waste of money because there's no level after 30 right now. Um, you can buy bundles as well too. Bundles comes with pretty much champions, rune pages. Uh, like for example, this pack costs. 3900 RP and you get 30 champions, you get skins, you get runes, and you get riot points in additional. So it kind of cuts the price pretty much. Um, and then you can just buy champions and so forth. Alrighty, that explains basically the dashboard and uh, the quick version of the dashboard and everything to it uh, with League of Legends. Let's, um, I'm posting a few videos of gameplay footage down below. Um, basically, just in the couple paragraphs, I'll explain uh, basically how the game is played itself too. You know what you're supposed to do and whatnot as well too. So, uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this. This has been Mark Live with Think Computers, and uh, have a great one.